Although subtle, the visual improvements are necessary, as they divide the two models of the brand name's flagship crossover. The facelift Hyundai Palisade features a new grille, which, along with the fresh bumper and split-styling headlamps with tweaked graphics and form, offer it a more hostile front end. Changes out back are far much less significant, and the majority of people would require a side-by-side -side comparison with its precursor to tell the differences. These comprise the bumper and repositioned reflectors. The tailgate looks virtually the same, and the tail lamps have new graphics. It maintains the Palisade text and the Hyundai symbol below the back windshield. Hyundai's designers have actually additionally paid attention to the inside, where the facelift Palisade gets a four-spoke steering wheel before the brand new control panel, a somewhat larger touchscreen infotainment system, and slimmer air vents. A digital rearview mirror is additionally included, and the motorist's seat is a great deal a lot more comfortable, therefore making it ideal for longer drives. With the mid-cycle refresh, Hyundai has seen to it that the Palisade remains affordable for a few more years. The Oriental brand name won't ditch the nameplate, as a second generation will launch. The upcoming one is stated to include a dramatic layout comparable to that of the smaller-sized Santa Fe, most likely featuring similarly shaped headlamps and taillights and perhaps having a boxier general look, which would definitely justify it. Albeit appealing, the CGI proposal was based upon the existing generation, showing off a brand new face with a reinterpreted grille, bumper, and lighting systems and a set of side vents for a meaner stance. It has an in a similar way designed account, a tweaked tailgate, a more hostile diffuser, and new taillights that offer it a more modern ambience. What would certainly exist below the skin of the upcoming Palisade? Only the group responsible for its advancement knows without a doubt, yet if we were to take a guess, we d say it will introduce with fuel and partly energized powertrains. However when is it due? Likely a minimum of two years from currently, taking into consideration that the facelift iteration hasn't been around that lengthy and still has plenty of life left in it. It is possible that we'll see the initial models outdoors starting following year, and they will certainly be a crucial piece of the challenge as it comes together.